Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've put up any new videos. I've been kind of busy here um, at home and not getting much of a chance to fly here in Washington State. As always, it's raining. So, uh, I thought I'd make a video to show you what I've been up to. Uh, this Starmax Gripen, I got I bought secondhand at uh, one of the local hobby stores there, here in, in Covington. And... Uh, they had a real good deal on it. Uh, it hadn't been flown much. The person that uh, uh, was selling it down there uh, didn't really fly the models. He just liked the scale look. So he'd put them together and, and then uh, let them sit. So, but this is an older model. Uh, from what I gather, uh, Starmax was making it back in 2009. Um, so it, it came with a three cell battery. All I had to do was put in a uh, receiver. So took it out to the field. Didn't seem to fly very fast, and uh, the first flight was quite hairy there because uh, it was all out of trim to the point where I, <laughs> if I took my hands off the controls, it was going into a spiral and nosedive. But uh, after I got the malt, uh, everything all trimmed out, it flew very nice, and it's got a great glide slope coming in. Uh, I, I flew maybe about two minutes, and then the three cell battery that it came with uh, conked out on me. Uh, so then I had to glide it in, and uh, it, it glides very nicely. Uh, though I got a little damage here on the nose uh, from my wild takeoff because the trim was all so, so out of whack. Um, and as you can see here on that control surface on the right aileron, uh, that's, that's centered. The, the, I have to have that much trim on it in order to keep it flying straight. So uh, it's probably got a warped wing or something or other, but... Uh, anyhow, uh, so after flying it with a three cell battery, all the buddies on the field were like, oh, throw a four cell in there. Oh, it'll fly back faster. And uh, all the you know, speed controllers should take it and the motor should, you know, yeah, throw a four cell in there. Yeah, it's easier for them to say it's not their model. But anyhow, I uh, proceeded to put in a four cell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it did. It flew quite well for about a minute and 30 seconds. And then the uh, motor stopped and I had to glide it back in. And uh, so we got the feeling on the speed controller and the speed controller was pretty hot. So I let it cool down, threw another uh, three cell back into it, got it up in the air and about a minute and 30 seconds later it conked out on me again. So uh, I get to fiddling with it back on the, the bench and one of the leads to the speed controller uh, had come off uh, almost as if it had a bad solder joint. Come to find out when I decided to take it apart and re-solder that on there that all the leads looked like they had a bad solder joint and uh, the uh, heat shrink around the ESC was uh, melted so I think what happened was I burned up that ESC I might see if I can fix it by soldering everything back on and putting some more heat shrink over the top of it but uh, so I got a bag stuck it in the drawer so in the meantime uh, what I did is I grabbed a 50 uh, 50 amp speed controller that I bought at one of the local hobby shop or uh, uh, we had a local swap meet here and I put that on so then, fired it up, and the motor would not stay on. It would conk on and off, on and off, on, and uh, just was not working too well. So I took the motor, finally figured out how to take that motor out of there. And uh, here we have the, the EDF fan. And uh, even after taking about 20, 30 minutes to try to figure out how to get into that fan, this motor was still pretty hot. So I'm guessing I either burned up that motor running a force cell through it, or... Uh, it was bad to begin with, and which might contribute to the that short uh, flight time that I had uh, when I first got that when I first picked it up. Uh, I was just probably drawing way too much current through that uh, speed controller. But anyhow, what I was sitting here doing, looking at all my models that I've got here, looking at my next project, and there's my uh, nice Mustang up there. I come to my Hobby King Zephyr. I crashed that yesterday and broke the control surfaces off on the wings. So uh, I got to fix those. I'm thinking I can just probably just use some uh, uh, servo tape put on there, fix those right up. But uh, then I realized 
that EDF fan comes off real easy. Just take one screw and a couple of screws there and then it pops right on off. That's a 70 millimeter ducted fan. This is 64. So I get to thinking, can I stuff it in my gripping? So that's what I did. Now we'll turn it over. And as you can see, I got it crammed in there. <laughs> The, unfortunately, the stock cover does not fit with that 70 millimeter in there. Uh, there's that uh, El Cheapo 50 amp speed controller. At least I think it's a 50 amp speed controller. That's what the sticker says on it. I got it for like five bucks at the swap meet. It doesn't come with any sort of instructions on how to program this silly thing. So I had to find one on the internet there. And uh, uh, Programming instructions. Beep 1, set for LiPo cutoff. 2 beeps, set for NICAD. 3 beeps, toggle brake control. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, so, I have no idea how that's going to work. But, what I've done here is on this fan, I've got it all taped in there with uh, packing tape. And, uh, it fires. Actually, let's go ahead and fire it up now. I'm going to set the camera down while I put in a battery, turn on transmitter. And uh, so give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We got a four cell stuck in there. Got my transmitter turned on. I'm going to hold it down here with the camera. And uh, we'll let you hear what this thing's going to sound like. This thing is going to fly like a bat out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this thing is much lighter than that uh, Zephyr over there and uh, so we're gonna have some fun with this one I think uh, one thing that uh, I'm a little concerned of is I seriously doubt there's any sort of um, spar in these wings so I can see it now I'm gonna be screaming across the runway and uh, go into my first banking turn and these wings are gonna whoop right on off so, uh, I plan on taking this to the field and flying it uh, by Friday. And uh, we'll have a buddy out there with a camera so uh, we can see the carnage. <laughs> I figured, like I said, I got a good deal on this. And uh, so if it crashes, the only thing I'm really concerned about is uh, my uh, receiver, which is tucked in there pretty good. And uh, that EDF fan, because I do plan on putting it back on my Zephyr <laughs> eventually, especially after I get those ailerons fixed. Because that's a fun thing to fly, but uh, this could uh, make for a good video. So stay tuned and uh, watch for my uh, maiden test flight of the 70mm EDF Starmax Grippin. Thanks for watching.